All right. Forget what each thing was. Ooh, wizard staff. Something new for Ares, I do believe. But Ares is in my party, so that's kind of a moot point. Say I did good. Star pendant. Stuff. Uh, let's try it to the right again. Oops, so there's nothing on this one. I could have jumped it. since I played. What is everybody looking at here? Plus, lightning attack, cover, enemy skill, heal, poison, shiva. Why does she have an all not? have steel, that's all good, but... Uh, remember right, I have to go up first.
Oh well, what are you gonna do? time through the game is pretty much all I did was just spam. As soon as I got summons, just fucking spam the summons. So why not? They were freaking awesome. set of boobs. Level up. Ooh, and Yuffie's closer to level up, too. Nice. God, I hope the volume balancing is coming out all right on your end, because I can just not find a happy medium on my end. Sucks for me, but hopefully it's okay for you guys. And a bomb. about that. sides. Just like, oh, my first dates. Wait, what?
Gigantic waste of MP, but who cares? We're almost a coral, so MP management doesn't really mean much. And we're here. And Bear gets the shit beat out of him. Because nobody likes Bear anyway. <laughs> well, looky here. Never thought I'd see your face again. They kick you out of another town or something. You destroy everything you touch. Got a lot of nerve coming back here. Look at this place. It's all your fault North Coral turned into a garbage heap. Why don't you say something? Or'd you forget what you're done here already? I'm sorry. <laughs> you ain't even worth the effort. Don't waste your time talking to that techno freak. Yeah, fuck this guy. I will slowly walk back over. You heard him. It's my fault. This town was destroyed. Now I'm gonna run away and pout somewhere. Cause even though I'm even though I'm big and bad, I'm also emo. All right. First things first. I believe this was. Yep. The end. Welcome. It's 50 gill a night. Would you like a room? Enjoy your stay. Do do do. Pleasant music. Okay, I forget. What kind of shops were around here? Ah, here it's a big fad now in the city to get tattoos. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I guess I should get a zero tattoo. For a poor man like me, zero ought to be perfect. I don't know if that's depressing or... Yeah, I just don't know what that is. The next train's coming in soon. Ooh, hello. Grandpa used to be a coal train engineer. He still can't kick his old habits from then. Oh, I suck at doing a female voice. What do you have to say? Get out of the way! The only way we can make ends meet around here is by collecting junk. Oh, uh, sounds like you ought to move somewhere. I mean, come on, it, it's, it can't be that hard to move places. You know, you just have to become incredibly strong, learn how to use a weapon, survive all the monsters and shit that's out there. It's not hard. Baby. Buy something, anything would do. Your tool shop. I don't need any of your stuff. Oh, I could, actually, I could use a couple more tents. All right, so you made a bit of money. What do you want? Let's listen to your story. Take that road to the left to the ropeway station. Ropeway will take you to the gold saucer. Don't mean much to us poor folks, though. What do you want? Let's see what what do you got. Your general store. Uh, I already picked up some transform materia. Uh, yeah, I'll pick up a couple of these because it doesn't have a hurt. Doesn't hurt to have a few stats recovery items. Which means you must be the weapon store. If you want to survive, then you're gonna need some of my weapons. Oh, really? No, I think I'm good. I think I just think you're an asshole. <laughs> uh, oh, I... Hmm. A force dealer. See, I thought the... Because I think, uh... What a, yeah, I thought the hard edge that you got from him was basically carried you until... At least, like, Nibel Nibelheim. Yeah, I'll buy it, I guess. Shows how much I remember about this game. Three slots and a double. Not bad. Uh, I, yeah, I can afford three more, I think. Yeah, I can afford three more. I'm going to leave here real quick. Cause 
So I'd be losing one slot plus a linked slot. Oh, my attack goes a bit and the growth is double. So what do I really want to raise up? Dual definitely HP plus, so I'm getting more HP. Uh, lightning, cover, gives you plus to your vitality. Oh, but I dropped enemy skill. Uh, ooh. Uh, I don't really need cover. I want enemy skill. Yeah. Now... Yeah, it may, it may be stupid to everybody else, but I like uh, all my party members having the best of... Oh, crap. I forgot I picked up weapons for them. Cool, good thing I've remembered now instead of later. So, the W machine gun for you. The wizard staff for you. Did I pick up shit for any, anybody else? Uh, let me bring you in here and check. I don't know if I got anything for you. Nope, didn't get anything for you. Alright, and save here. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh, actually, let's sell some of this crap we don't need. And I go into the buy menu, because horribleness. Okay, white cave. Ooh, I want I want to keep you. I want to keep the peacemaker for when I get Vincent. Uh, the full metal staff. The hard edge. The assault gun. These mithril armlets. I guess I want to keep that peacemaker for Vincent. Okay, that'll work. Made a little bit back. Hey guys! Sorry I'm late. Barrett, what happened? <laughs> Sorry. What happened? My hometown used to be around here. What do you mean, used to? It ain't here no more. Heard it got buried in just four years. But how could those people say those terrible things? That's my fault. All my fault. <laughs> yes, I'm making Barrett sound like Mr. T. It's basically what he's being a stereotype of. My hometown, Coral's always been a coal mining town. Maybe dusty and poor, but it's calm, a real small town. That's the first time I ever heard Mako react and mention since then. What are we gonna do? The only one opposed to this is dying. And I'm definitely against it, no matter what. There's nothing, there's nothing to talk about if you think of throwing away our coal. The coal's been ours for generations. Our fathers, and theirs before them, risked their lives for it. We have no right to throw it all away so easily. But listen, Dad, no one uses coal nowadays. It's the sign of the times. Right, everything is Mako now. It'll be alright, Dad. Shinra Inc. will guarantee your livelihood once the Mako reactor is completed. Listen, Dad. I don't want my wife, Myrna, to suffer anymore. I know how you feel. I feel the same way too, damn it. But even so, I won't give away our coal mines. Don, you got to understand. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you guys suck. 
That's how the core reactor was built and completed. We all thought it would bring us an easier life. Then shit went cray cray. It happened when Dyn and I were out of town for a few days. Coral was burned down by the Shinra troops. Those bastards. <laughs> all the townspeople, all my relatives, everyone, everything. <laughs> what a bunch of douchebags. Barrett, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shinra troops, what for? There was an explosion at the reactor. Shinra blamed the accident on the people. Said it was done by a rebel faction. That's so terrible. Well, I guess that's true. But more than Shinra, I can't forgive myself. Never should have gone along with building that reactor. Don't blame yourself. We were all fooled by the promises Shinra made back then. And you're all dumbasses. <laughs> that's why. That's why I get so pissed off. <laughs> Not only did they take advantage of me, but I lost my wife, Marina, too. Hey, douchebags! If you want to go to the Golden Saucer, get your asses on the tram! <laughs> yeah, let's go. Dino's my best friend. We were close ever since we were kids. <laughs> what a douchebag. I never knew. Barrett never said a thing. And silence. More silence. <laughs> I'm not sympathizing with Barrett. He never should have trusted them. Yeah, that's true. Yuffie, you got a point. <laughs> it's like, we're all living the human experience. She's speaking it. <laughs> we better go on. Oh, uh, sorry, we don't let wolf things, whatever the hell you are, on the tram. You racist son of a bitch. for one of the cutscenes that pretty much sold this game back in 1997. Ooh. Ah. Grant, I still love the hell out of this game, but compared to today... Yeah, not impressive. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much one of the cutscenes that sold this game back in 97. I mean, it still looks nice, but nothing compared to today's standards. Does anybody else feel like they just got laid in there? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay your 3,000 now. Pay the 30,000 later. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know about GP. Zoom. Let's have fun! I know this isn't the right time to do this. Yes, you're right, it isn't. You should be shutting your mouth right now. But you're not going to. Hey, Barrett, cheer up! Turns out I just socks her in the face. <laughs> Girl, what you talking about, cheer up? <laughs> I ain't in a cheer mood. Just leave me alone. Really? That's too bad. Let's go! Whisper ahead. Wasn't that a little harsh, Ares? Just act normal when this happens. You think so? Of course. <laughs> best, best way to deal with somebody who's depressed, just ignore their feelings whatsoever. Rules to live by, people! <laughs> We're gonna go play. <laughs> so play! Mess around all you want! Don't forget, we're after Sephiroth. I think he's mad. Well, no shit! Gee, I wonder why he's pissed off. Hmm, might be something that a 
certain somebody wearing pink said. No, Cloud, I don't mean you. Although you do look fabulous. <laughs> He'll be fine. He seems to be doing a little better now. <laughs> Again, just ignore just ignore everybody's feelings. You know, that's uh that's how it goes. Rules live by people. Okay, so now if I remember first you have to go by the speed square. Oh yeah, first you have to bring somebody with you. Uh yeah, go with Tifa. First, at first you have to go by the speed square and go to see Chaos Sith, I believe? Kate Sith? Nope. Okay, so it wasn't that. It was, uh... Hey, boy! Oh, yeah. First you have to talk to this asshole. <laughs> How is it? You having fun? Hmm, so you are having fun. Well, good. Good for you. <laughs> I'm doing the voice of the king from the Zelda CDI games. My boy! <laughs> Are you having fun, my boy? Good, good. This fun is what all true heroes strive for. <laughs> my name's Cloud. Stop calling me boy. <laughs> boy, I'm gonna be calling you whatever I, whatever I want once I got you in bed. <laughs> okay, all big, all big muscular guys are now being voiced as Mr. T. <laughs> it's just easier. <laughs> me, I'm the owner of the Gold Saucer. The name's Dio. <laughs> just call me Dio. He's not even listening. <laughs> By the way, boy, do you know what a black materia is? Well, let's play dumb. Because, you know, Cloud's very good at that. Ha <laughs> ha, that. I say, that's a good one, my boy. But it's not good to lie. You can't fool me. Why'd you ask me then? Well, a while back, a boy your age came in and asked me if I had some black materia. <laughs> I thought you might know who he was, seeing as how you're both about the same age. Did he happen to have a black cape? <laughs> Why, yes, yes, indeed. He had a tattoo on his hand. It said one. Where'd he go? If you don't mind me asking. Ha! <laughs> I have no idea. Well then, I was completely useless. I shall now go. <laughs> I say, stop by the battle arena if you like, boy. You'll probably like it. Many of my collections are on display there. Ha ha ha. I must go and be useless other places. See you later, boy. Okay, so I get to go here first. Then you go to... Events... To see Kate Sith. No, not event. So... So it's not the speed square. That's the gondola. Wonder square? Wonder square. There we go. Hey you! What are you looking so down for? Oh my god! That stuffed animal is talking! <laughs> How about it? Want me to read your fortune? A bright future? A happy future? Oh, but don't hold it against me if it doesn't come true. Then nah, what's the point? You're fucking useless then. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I'm a fortune teller machine. The name's... Poopface. only read the future? You kidding? I can find missing things, missing people, anything. And I know in uh, in every iteration after this, like in a Dirge of Cerberus and whatever, they gave him like an Irish accent. I don't do Irish very well, so yeah, don't don't plan on that. <laughs> he will have surfer he will have surfer dude accent for now. <laughs> then can you tell me where a man named Sephiroth is? Sephiroth, right? Okay, here it goes. Do my little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Ordinary luck, it'll be an active fortune. Given to the goodwill of others. Something big, something big will happen after summer. Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> huh? Let me try again. You are a total douchebag. Yeah, that seems more accurate. <laughs> uh, Be careful of forgetfulness. Your lucky color is blue? Like, dude, you are fucking useless. <laughs> Forget this shit. <laughs> That's it. Going back to the pile. <laughs> 
Wait, wait, give me another chance. Wait, let me try it again. Busting the groove. Show me your moves. Like, what the fuck is this shit? It says, my, it says my mother was a transvestite. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, what you pursue will be yours, but you will lose something dear. I don't know if it's good or bad. This is the first time I ever got something like this. <laughs> then, shall we? Shall we what? Excuse me? <laughs> Being a fortune teller, this is going to bug me. If I don't see how this turns out, I'll never be able to relax. So I'm going with you. Uh, no you're not. Matter of fact, matter of fact I'm going to get a restraining order on you so that you stay as far away from me as possible. <laughs> I'm coming with you no matter what you say. Uh, security, police, National Guard. I want this cat thing taken away from me. Wait, no. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's inside me now. I feel him. Oh, God, I feel him. Get him away. Ah, well. Okay, now off to battle. And dead motherfuckers. Sucks for you. He's dead. What? Wait, Cloud! I'm going off all emo because that's what I do. Did Sephiroth do this? No, it's not him. They're all shot. Sephiroth would never use a gun. Hey, what happened? Uh, a man with a gun on his arm. A gun on his arm? Hold it right there and stay quiet. Did you guys do this? No, it wasn't us. I must have been wrong. Hurry and run, it's gonna get ugly. Hey! Stop him. Uh, receptionist lady, could you kind of poke your head up and tell him that it wasn't us? Um, help. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Fuck y'all then. <laughs> That's as far as you go. Wait, listen to... Cloud? <laughs> oh, come on. Everybody should be equipped with lightning materia. We can take these things on. One more to go. Yes, sir. Hey, pay attention. I don't need to hear it. Pay for your crime below. Do it. You motherfucker! Well, Stanley, there's another fine predicament you've gotten us into. Cloud, are you alright? Where the fuck are we? <laughs> a desert prison. Coral prison. A desert prison? Yep, a natural prison in the middle of the desert, surrounded entirely by quicksand. I heard that once you get in, you never get out. Well, I'm blaming this entire mess on you, asshole. If you didn't decide to come with me, and decide to run when we had a perfectly good receptionist there who could have told them that we were not a part of the killings. But no, somebody had to run away. <laughs> That's it, move the cat, I'm riding the, pu I'm riding the puppet now. No reason I should have to walk around here when this is entirely your fault. <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> but there was one special exception. Yo, asshole! Barrett! Did you... Stay back! There's something I gotta deal with. Just leave me alone. I gotta be all emo. I'm trying to be like Cloud. 
Gotta be all emo. Whew, that's one of your friends. Sure looks dangerous. Barrett. Man, this this motherfucker got sh <laughs> he got fucked up. Ah, go through the gate, damn it. Okay, didn't mean to do that, but okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Well, you're a jolly fellow. See, I enjoy your company. It's an RPG, so always a good idea to save. Battle! Multiball! Multiball! Yeah, this is around the time when Choke Bulldog starts becoming pretty damn useless. But it's still an awesome material. Eh, not too horribly useless. Maybe kind of overkill to use Shiva, but eh, who cares? Fuck you! Oh wow, a clearly empty house. Motherfuckers, what are y'all doing here? <laughs> Did I tell you not to come here? No, you told us not to follow you. How the fuck was I supposed to know you were in this particular house, jerkwad? Just, just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You'll understand if we, if you just hear us out. Oh my spleen! <laughs> Didn't want none of y'all getting to get involved. How the fuck did they get down here? They, did, as far as I know, they didn't commit any crimes. What did you? What did you go up and just slap some dude in the face? Red Thirteen take a shit on the rug or something? How the fuck did they make it down here? <laughs> hey, that's Cloud's line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah blah blah. Oh gee, thanks, bitch. R really appreciate my uh my general concern for others to be taken out of context like that. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and hurried here. Bear, just tell us what's going on. How did you hurry here? It's a prison. You're not allowed to just waltz into prison. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> you guys. My boy. <laughs> I heard that the murders at the battle arena were done by a man with a gun arm. Was that you? <laughs> There's another... Another man that got a gun grafted onto one of his arms. It was four years ago. I remember I was on my way home from visiting a Mako reactor being built. <laughs> Barrett, die! Come quick! The village being attacked! It's Shinra soldiers! What? Dines all like, there you piece of shit! I told you this was gonna happen! You motherfucker! <laughs> hey Barrett, it's not over yet! Everyone's waiting, let's get back to the village! <laughs> I heard there was voice acting in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Pretty much. One thing you're gonna know is pretty much every big, big and buff character is gonna sound like Mr. T. 
<laughs> oh man! Look at me dance! Mr. Teague dance! Come on, Barrett! We gotta hurry! Kurg! Barrett, you stay there! You stay here! Yeah! You can shoot all day and never hit them with an aim like that! So I'm gonna bitch slap you, take your gun, and do it myself! Gotta love a girl with initiative! Watch out! Well, fuck me sideways! Don, hang on! Listen to me, you're coming back to the village, here. Yeah? yeah, I ain't letting go! You're coming back, everyone's waiting for you! Wait, is this supposed to be Bear talking or Don? Oh, somebody talking. Ow, that fucking hurt! So that explains dying, but what happened to Barrett at that moment? Because la last I checked, the Shinra soldiers were still shooting at him. And he now had a very bad injury on his hand. Ah, whatever. Final Fantasy VII plot hole. <laughs> From then on, I couldn't use my right arm no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. Got a new right arm to get revenge on the Shinra, who took everything away. <laughs> I pity the fools who keep their artificial arms. <laughs> Back then, I heard the doc say there was another man who got the same operation as me. What was his left arm? Dot dot dot. Ellipses! <laughs> but Dine's injury was the same as yours, right? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by Shinra, too. He'll probably join us to fight against the Shinra. Girl, you cray cray. <laughs> Wouldn't bet on it. Gotta apologize to Don before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do whatever you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do it. You need you need help to save the planet. Barrett, this isn't the end. Were you going to save the planet? Bitch, shut the fuck up! I ain't, I ain't asking for your opinion! <laughs> Shit, Tiffa, you ought to know by now. That's alright, I'm not so different from you. <laughs> yes, you are, you got two right- you got two actual hands, you bitch! <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> That's easier to understand, it's you, Barrett. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? It's me! <laughs> what y'all think you know me by now? <laughs> Do you think y'all got me figured out? So there it is, Barrett. So I guess it'll be me, Barrett, and... Um... Yeah, Tifa. Which means... Uh... Oh, wait. I believe your weapon is a long-range weapon. So I can flip your ass in the back row. Get your ass in the back row. Uh... Exchange... Barrett's crap with Yuffie's crap. Um, actually, don't you have to talk to the king first? Or, I don't know. And we just had a bunch of exposition, so we'll go ahead and save the game. got shot. This one's been shot too. Why a comma? Did there really have to be a pause there? Is this should do enough damage. Yeah, this should do enough damage that uh
Ah, rape! Rape! I need an adult! I need an adult! Only Cloud can have my boobs. Ah, uh, well, shit. I forget exactly where you're supposed to go. You motherfuckers. Ow. Well, I didn't do too much damage. Just case for some reason. Hail fire, motherfuckers! Owned. to say. Man, the boss was really in a bad mood today. Or is this one of his better days? If you have to ask that question, then... Oh, wow. Already here. Okay, so... Ooh, and Barrett's got a limit ready to go. Sweet. Um, I've got one of those. Ah. Why, is, why would Potion be so far down? That's weird to me. Uh, also, I, just in case... Because this is technically a boss... Oh, cool, you already got Cure on you. Sweet. Stay back, guys. Need to take care of this myself. Don, is that you? Well, well, motherfucker, how's it going? Now that's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. You kicked my dog, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I always hoped I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Even though your gun looks cooler than mine, I think I got gypped. I can hear her voice. What's that? Ellipses. <laughs> it's Eleanor's voice, begging me not to hate your rotten guts. That's why I never hunted you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. But what are you doing in a place like this? Um, if you haven't noticed, I killed a shitload of people up there. So this is kind of where they send people like that. Why you want to kill people who ain't even involved? Why? Why? What the hell do you care? You think the dead understand whys? Is hearing Shinra's excuses going to make people in Coral understand anything? I don't care about the reasons. All they give us is artillery and stupid excuses. What's left is a world of despair and emptiness. Ellipses. You still want to hear why? All right, I'll tell you. Because I want to destroy everything. The people in this city. The city itself. The whole world. I got nothing left in this world. Coral, Eleanor, Marlene. Dan, Marlene. Marlene's still alive. Ellipses. I went back into town. I thought she was gone for sure. Again, how did you get back into town? Where that cutscene let up, there were still three Shinra soldiers and Scarlet shooting at you. How the fuck did you get away? Ah, whatever. <laughs> I wandered around town for a while. That's when I found her. Found Marlene. Ellipses. 
She's in Midgar. Let's go see it together, all right? So, she's still alive. All right, Barrett. Then I guess you and me got to fight. What? <laughs> Eleanor is all by herself. I got to take Marlene to her. Don, are you crazy? <laughs> Marlene wants to see her mom, doesn't she? Stop, Don. I can't die yet. Oh, yeah? Well, my life's been over ever since then. Stop it. I don't want to fight you. Barrett. Get out. You stay the hell out of this. This is my problem. Motherfucker, I got a limit break. Ready to go for your ass. Mine. Ow. If it says, fuck you. I kind of want to try and save my MP for cures. So now we take this battle a little slower. Oh, that should, speak of cure, I think I might need one. Yeah, I can definitely use one. Take this, mofo. I guess I'll be taking that first. You suck. Take this! Needle gun! Molotov cocktail! Another cure, cause why not? Better safe than sorry in RPGs. Needle gun! Actually, I'll wait cause yeah, this should give me a limit. Take this, mofo! Erg! I got down on my knees, just so I can get up and then get down on my knees. Because that's how... That's how things work. Silver armlet. Fuck me sideways. Back! I didn't just lose an arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where it went wrong. Don, I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? I told you. I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Barrett. How old was Marlene back then? Even if I did go see her, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett? My hands are too stained to carry her anymore. Ellipses. Barrett. Give that pendant to Marlene. It was Eleanor's. My wife's. A memento. Alright. So, Marlene's already four. Barrett, don't you. Don't ever make her cry. Don, you son of a bitch, you can't fly. The fuck are you doing? Don, <laughs> go back to the scene of when Sector 7 went down. Damn it, damn it, damn it, all the hell. 
Dan, me and you, we're the same. My hands ain't any, cl any cleaner. I shouldn't carry Marlene either. Ah! I pity the fool who jumps off cliffs. <laughs> hey, person I'm meeting for the first time, but is gonna act like we already talked. You want something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, even though we didn't, even though we never talked before. <laughs> you gotta get the boss's permission, then win the choke up. Don's got his reasons and can't speak. So I got this instead. Yeah, bulls. I want to go up. <laughs> right. D did you kill Dine? You must have, or you'd never be holding that thing. So Dine's dead. Maybe now this place will calm down a little. Dine didn't care who anyone was. <laughs> the hell do you know? Right, I mean, no, I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm a crazy idiot. Just do, do not mind me. Then will you get us out of here? Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. Bitch, do I have to punch you in the face? <laughs> I told you, there's one. There's only one way to get out of here. That's to win the chocobo race that's held up there in the gold saucer. And the only and only one racer can go up at a time. Say what? No, really, even if you threaten me. A rule's a rule, I can't change it. As you can see, I'm down here in a prison, just like you. I have no authority to change any rules. If I do, the whole system down here will get messed up, and I can't do that. Plus, I'm in a prison! <laughs> okay, okay, I'll let one I'll let one go up there. After that, he's gotta deal with Dio. Alright then. Cloud, you go. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and win that chocobo race and get us out of here. Right, Cloud, we'll be waiting and rooting for you. Uh, I guess. Have you decided? All you need now is a manager to register and get a chocobo. Hi, I happen to hear your story. Esther? Oh my god! It's, your dress is so loud, I cannot hear anymore. <laughs> I'll be your manager. <laughs> well, I have nothing against it, but... This is Esther. She may look kind of funny. Well, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> but there's no better manager in the races. That's, that's so rude. <laughs> yeah, well, nice to meet you, Cloud. All right, then, Cloud. I'll send you up the elevator. Esther will finally fill you on the details. So that's what happened. I'll talk to Dio directly. You just concentrate on the race. Oh yeah, getting back to the to the other thing. There are many different types of chocobo jockeys. It's not only for criminals. Some people compete for fame, some people compete for the money, some only for glory. And then there's people like you, the, the degenerates of society, we like to call them. Oh yeah, I'll teach you how to ride a chocobo. Actually, it's been a long time since I played this game, so yeah, please teach me. Okay, so use the back button to choose either auto or manual. Good to know. This lets you control the chocobo yourself or let it go on its own. It's pretty hard to make the chocobo run the way you want it to. If the chocobo doesn't like you, it won't listen. Then you're shit. There, you're shit out of luck. But most of the chocobos I have are mellow, and you should be able to handle them. While you're riding, use X to speed up, B to slow down. If you go faster. Then the chocobo can handle, it'll quickly lose its stamina. Use the directional buttons to blah, 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 blah. Use A to get a boost of speed. This makes your stamina run out faster. Some chocobos are bad are bad tempered and you can't pace them. And can't pace themselves, and they'll lose their stamina very quickly. Uh, Once the first and second chocobo cross the goal line, press start to end the race. Cool. What's up everybody? You new. Loser. We're gonna hate you because you're new. Hi, Joe. Hey, Esther. You're looking pretty as usual. Wanna come back over to my place so I can uh, take that dress off you? Wait, what? <laughs> Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top chockies. 
loser. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He's also a criminal, a degenerate to society. He'd only been down there a day, and he's already made it up here. What? God damn, who, who the hell did you kill to get up here so quickly? Ah, oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. So why did you get put down? Sorry, we're not supposed to ask about the past here. It's all about the future, man. In the future! <laughs> then, until we meet again, Cloud. You must slowly walk. You must watch me slowly walk away. I'm going to check on the chocobo. You just wait here for a while. And uh, no save point here. But drama materia. Neat. Ellipses. Got nothing to say, huh? Race will start in a few moments. Will the jockeys for the next race please proceed to the paddock? Cloud! Thanks for waiting. I registered you in the next race. This is a chocobo I prepared myself. He should do well. So then, remember how to ride? Yeah, I got it. Then, good luck. Okay, so that's manual. Go! Run! And yes, I know about that trick to get his stamina back. Run, damn you! We're at the home stretch! Go, you motherfucker! Really? Well, that shows me I should've just been running it myself. Too bad. That was a tough break. <laughs> Let me find a better joke. Okay, in, in all the years, what, it's been almost 20 years since this game came out, I have never lost that race. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I think that was the first time in almost 20 years, I've lost that race. Well, now we know. Switch to manual. Because apparently that chocobo does not know what it's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully this chocobo doesn't suck. Stamina back. Yeah, 18 years. So yeah, my the first time in 18 years I have lost that race. That is very disgraceful. But I just saw I was letting I was pretty much letting the chocobo run its own course, which was, you know, the first mistake. Uh, 
right, now, home stretch this bitch. There we go. That's how that race is supposed to be run. Uh, should not have been that difficult. Congratulations. Now you're home free. Oh yeah, the owner told me to give you this give you this letter if, when you won. <laughs> Boy, if you're reading this letter, then you must have won. I know you earned it. I heard about Don from Esther. Now that you've won, I'm granting you and your friends a full pardon and setting you all free. And by way of apology, I have a little gift for you to use on your journey. Sorry I couldn't be there to tell you this in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. But you can call me Dio. <laughs> a gift? Oh, excuse me, gotta, you know, gotta chat with my peeps. <laughs> Cloud, this is great. The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off a buggy. Now we can go over deserts and rivers, no problem. Okay, Cloud, I'll be waiting outside. Sweet. <laughs> Wait, there's also registration and taxes. Somebody's gotta get a driver's license. God damn it, that's how, you, that's how they get you. Huh, the letter continues. P.S. I recently met Sephiroth. I bet, I bet he's pretty popular with boys your age. Why don't you go get his autograph? He was heading toward Gongaga, south of the river. Sephiroth. I guess it's goodbye. Yeah, well, if you ever get your own chocobo, come back again. I'll take care of your registration and everything. See you, see you again. Screw you, Barrett. Getting Yuffie back in my party. Okay, press OK to get on. Press cancel button to get off. God dang these PC controls. Okay, so that was that, that, that. You guys are still in the back row. Exchange your shit back with Barrett. Ooh, somebody's gotta get Rama Materia. Um, as much as I like Chocobo Mog, yeah, let's switch it up, give you Rama. Let's upgrade this shit. Uh, oh wait. Can't you have both? Uh, yeah, you don't need the lock. You're good. Give you a couple summons. <laughs> Alright, and I think with that, I will be calling this stream a day here. Or a night, I should say. I want to thank everybody for joining me. You're all awesome. Uh, if you want to give me a follow, I'd, I'd appreciate it. I'm always playing random stuff around here, whether it be RPGs or shooters or whatever. I'd love to see you around again. Alright, everybody have themselves a great night.